Good morning from North Carolina. We're here listening for gobbles right now. I met a guy at the trailhead, Rob. Nice fellow, he walked in to this listening spot pretty much, this uh, 20 foot hill. And he's going to set up on the first bird we heard. There's, there's one goblin right now. Semi-frequently, it's still pretty early. But I'm expecting some more to fire up here soon. I'm gonna probably loop around. We talked to Warb yesterday. But I hung up gobblers on that one yesterday afternoon. Probably just should have <laughs> shut up on him and scratched a lot. I think I probably called too much, called too aggressively to him. He knew I was over there. Should have just shut up on him, went quiet, and scratched the hell out of those leaves. But it's another beautiful morning. Maybe a little bit of fog. It's 6.07 right now. I didn't really start gobbling until like 6.15 yesterday, so I'm expecting them to fire up. Hopefully we can get one. It's gonna be a good day, and almost the exact same as yesterday, and they were fired up yesterday. Got really close, so. Hopefully we can get one early, but I think if this, this guy's working into the spot, close to the spot that I wanted to get to, and that's fine, it's public land. But he said he'd be out here by 9.15, so. I'm gonna swing around and try this spot over here. This is where I got on that bird yesterday around 10.30. And then he's headed to where I was on those birds around three yesterday, so. Just hanging tight, hopefully one gobbles close. <laughs> yesterday but it's the same type of stuff I think we could slip into that and call them right up and through it my lens is fogging up it's foggy this morning it's got everything fogged up I'd love to hear this turkey gobble again I don't love the field edge tactic, but I tried it this morning just because I heard like three or four different turkeys gobbling on private and then a couple more way back in the swamp behind me. So there is a bird over here that's still gobbling every now and then uh, on the private, but it sounds like he's coming this way, getting closer. Now there's a two track up ahead of me that I could definitely see him getting hung up on. So I'm gonna go set up on that two track public that's the dividing line and see if I can get them to come in pretty much
this pond right here, and then like seven yards from me, there's a hen. And she goes down there, takes a drink of the water, proceeds to poop in it, and then pops right back up onto the road, dusts herself a little bit, and goes about her merry way. I don't have my gun ready. I filmed it a little bit with my phone because I couldn't move. That was cool though. I hadn't been sitting here that long. If Tom does the same thing, I could have shot. Could have shot her for sure. This is right where that hen did her dusting. See your track. I got fresh and she took off that way. It's had about 20 minutes after that hand rolled through. I think it might be time to walk around and try to strike something up. Certainly did not love the tactic I went for this morning. I felt a bit hindered by that other guy. He's kind of in the area that. I really wanted to be in, but he said he was only going to hunt till 9.15, so I kind of just let him go where he wanted to. I haven't heard him shoot though, so I don't know if he's gotten anything. He said he had to be out of here by 9.15. It's currently 9, so I think I'm going to go back into the field I was in this morning, call and see if I can strike anything up, and then if I can't, probably time it to where while he's walking out. I'm gonna walk into where he was and wait for a bird to fire up over there because they, they will. They will for sure. Strap marks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lots of sign right here in this part of the road. This is still public. It's still public over here. They aren't banging. Those turkeys gobbling this morning. They could have been right here. Yeah, there's tons of sign right here. They're definitely crossing. That's the property line there. Might not be a bad idea. This is probably where I should have been this morning. Because by God, there's sign everywhere up in here. By God. Out oh, here strutting on them roads. Strutting on these roads here. I guarantee you they were out here this morning. I just gobbled at a woodpecker right about where he was yesterday. The late bird yesterday. Maybe see if we can't kill him this time. He's way through there. I can get way closer. Crow's my lifesaver. He won't leave and he just keeps responding to the crow. He's still probably 150 yards. Yep. He's in the swamp it looks like.
be the best I have with the shadow. That tree won't be shaded for long.
smoked. Smoked. Freaking smoke, dude. Mm. Mm. I swear I've been I've been on this turkey three different times now. Finally, Warp is right, man. Yo, Warp is the turkey master. I asked him what I should do, and he's just like, yo, just sit on him. If he responds to you, just sit on him. You know he's there, or he knows you're there, and just scratch a lot. Let's go over here and look at him. Did a little slap, and there he goes. Oh my gosh, dude, it must have been like a 15, 20 yard shot, which it was going to be, because this stuff is so thick in here, but Ah, uh, he, he had him a nice little spot out there where he could just gobble and strut around and he's been doing that. He did it all day yesterday. I'm pretty sure that bird I got on at 10 o'clock was this bird. And then the one that I got on at 3 o'clock is definitely this one. I'm in the same patch of woods. It's just... <sighs> Finally outsmarted him. Finally outsmarted him. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. That's freaking all it is. Is... Find, you, you gotta find a turkey and then you gotta fool them and that's all it is and then you gotta kill them <laughs> that sounds so lame bird number three of the tour man bird number three of the van tour I don't know if it actually was on film this tree might have been in the way or he might not have stepped all the way out of the tree he def I think he saw me for sure because he definitely stuck his head up and that's when I shot him 21 22 this daggum Tom, dude. This daggum Tom had me pulling my hairs out yesterday. I knew we were gonna get one out here. There's too many birds, and I, it, every every encounter yesterday was just figuring this one out, just figuring them out. <sighs> Finally, just couldn't stand it. You saw me scratch over there. I think the GoPro died on me. I don't know what what point it died, but if the GoPro died, you probably didn't see it. But I literally like rolled around in the leaves just trying to make as much scratching noise as possible and after that i don't know if he gobbled again heard him drum a couple times kind of like a little further to the right um but he went came straight down my gun barrel exactly where it needed to be uh right about 21 yards 21 paces is what i walked it off at feels good man it feels dadgum good back here at home this is my second day hunting in North Carolina. Glad, glad to be on birds. So much action yesterday. And all the while, I was just figuring this one out. That's, I just love turkey hunting. Oh boy, it's so fun. 11.30. I don't know what time I pulled the trigger, but it's probably around 10.45, 11 o'clock, somewhere in there. Gosh, I love turkey hunting. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing for sure. Worked over here about 10 o'clock and woodpecker fires off and I hear him gobble like pretty faint but it sounds like he's in the same spot. And so I'm walking down the road and a crow had to have like landed right on top of this boy. And was the crow was giving the tom hell and the tom just couldn't stand it but just gobble back, back to the crow. And he, the crow was up there like the whole time that I was working in so it was perfect. I waited for him to gobble one more time. He was in the same spot. I got out of my setup. I knew he couldn't see me. Started doing like snow angels in the leaves pretty much. Just trying to make as much racket as I could so he could hear me scratching over here. Probably like five, 10 minutes go by. And then I hear a stick pop like 30 yards, like really close. And from that stick pop, I could hear every step he took after that. And he had, I said he had worked to the right and I was gonna about to mess me up a little bit, but he came right back to the left and ended up right at the end of my gun barrel. I didn't even have to move it. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm stoked. We're having turkey tonight. Turkey tonight. <laughs>